I'm smiling really big behind my mask, getting to listen to this. Hello. Welcome to our uh, second of, well, I don't know what order you're going to watch these in. I would watch them in all orders, and I'd watch them over and over again because I would get such a kick out of listening to him play. We are featuring some um, pre-owned instruments in these group of videos, bringing to you some of the most, I don't know why I'm talking like this, some of the coolest guitars we've had uh, pre-owned to, to, to get hands on. So in this instance, as opposed to letting me butcher a video in playing and talking, I'll just screw it up by talking to you. We're going to get a professional to play. Jonathan Brown is with us today. Thank you for coming in, buddy. This is, this Thanks is, for having me. Well, this is so much fun because yeah. when we first got this guitar, I think you were the first person to put hands on this. Before we even got it set up, it was kind of a, you were in looking at another instrument. Yeah. And it was kind of cruel of us to put this in your hands, but you know this builder, yeah. you know this guitar pretty well. Um, tell us about Wayne Henderson and, and when the, 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 the lore around those instruments and why you're drawn to them. Well, you know, um, I just learned of Wayne through a friend of mine. I, uh, and he has a, fe or had a fest or has a festival every year mm -hmm. in a guitar competition. So I learned about the guitar competition, and I went up there and entered it uh, once, and then tried to enter it again, but didn't get on the list or whatever. Gotcha. But, um, yeah, I entered that, and uh, I, I actually talked to Wayne yesterday. Uh, talked to him on the phone yesterday, and uh, he seems to be doing good. He's back building again. Right on. I think he had a uh, he was sick there for a okay, minute. but he's doing better now. And um, thank goodness. Yeah. And, I just learned from from a friend of mine that uh, told me about his festival, and I went up there and entered the contest, and that's how I met Wayne. Oh, neat. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, because we know. I mean, I think of him as the as a builder. Yeah. But I know that he t and I t I did the same thing when we got this guitar. I called him just to get a little bit of information on it. Talking to him on the telephone was such a hoot because he was going, "Well, let me check my let me check my records." And you think these days everybody's on computers or whatever. He's looking through a notebook to tell me what he built the guitar from. And I thought, okay, I love that. First of all, just that. He goes into a ledger and reads off how we built this thing because this is this is from the early 2000s. So this is not a, a recent one. This is almost right. a 20 year old guitar, based on loosely based on a D28, I would say. And it, you know, yeah. if, if it if it if and, that and, would be its closest sibling for something that we probably know a little better. But um, so he's a builder. He 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 teaches folks to build guitars as well. Has a festival. So he's obviously a guitar. He brings guitar players together, um, which is it just a neat thing to think about because music should bring people together but if the, the builder is also conscious of that that's a, a pretty rad thing to have players of your caliber who gather <laughs> to to share ideas uh, in a festival setting or in a, in a gig kind of setting how was that for you entering the contest what did that feel like it was uh it was interesting it was it was fun it was the first contest i'd ever done oh right on. you know and uh, i've done several since then but um it was it was a pretty cool experience, you know, and you have to, and you learn after you enter enough contests, you learn like what 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 to do and what not to do. Okay. Know? And uh, a lot of it's luck to win, but you have to be good too, you know. But um, it's just depending on what the judges like and stuff like that. But, right. Um, yeah. Not only is Wayne a good builder, but he's a good guitar player too. Okay. Yeah. You know, of he's course. An amazing guitar <laughs> player. Being in that circle of people, you're like. Who are the slouches here? Uh, oh, none of them. They're all that you know that yeah, that world class yeah. level of, especially with bluegrass or or you think you know the, blending a, a jazz style with a bluegrass style with a even just like a like a country influenced guitar style. It's neat yeah. to hear those people. Um, can you demonstrate this instrument for us? Yes. By any chance? Yes, I'd like to. Um, I, I chose a song today that. Uh, that I, I learned to play a long time ago, and uh, it was one of the first instrumental songs that I learned. And I found out later on, uh, as I bought some of Wayne Henderson's uh, guitar albums and stuff, that he plays this tune too. And uh, he's a finger picker, and I'm a finger picker, but he, he uses finger picks, and okay. I use the nails and stuff. But.
All right, what else you got? Because that was, you know, pretty entry level stuff. Uh, that was the first blue book that you, that was page one, right? That's the, the intro. Well, I played a lot different when I was a kid. <laughs> really? Yeah. That sounded amazing. Thank you. That's one of those that I bet you could probably pull out every few months or whatever and go, okay, let's test the chops. Let's see where I'm at. And you try to pull that off and see and go, okay, I can gauge my progress when I hear that. Because that, you played that great. That's just fun to Thank hear, you. fun Thank to you. listen to. Uh, is that a, what you're holding? Is that a particularly great guitar for that kind of playing, or can you play anything on on this instrument? I think you can. I think it's good for fingerstyle or flat picking. Neat. You know, but I do kind of a mixture of both. You know, but um, I think it's 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 got a response is great on it. Finger picking, you know, and the volume is it's a super loud guitar, you know. So it's, it's, it's really a banjo killer. <laughs> okay. To me it is. Okay, that's good to know because you always think or, or often think, okay, I know I, could, I know I could secure something from Martin or obviously we, we work with Collings and Huss and Dalton and we, yeah. know that we know their sounds and what they're capable of. When we deal with a smaller builder and, and with folks that, you know, go in bluegrass contests or, or enter things where there is going to be as we always talk about in context with louder instruments, you said a banjo killer. If, I, if you're playing against an instrument that is obviously inherently louder than a guitar, you need that volume in your gearbox yeah. to be able to switch to if you gotta pick with somebody that's playing real loud, just to silence them, just end them. Fiddlers out there and mandolin pickers and all of you cats. Um, play us out with something else on this really phenomenal Wayne Henderson. And again, thanks so much for being here, Jonathan. This is Jonathan Brown, who is our resident uh, much better guitar picker than I am. That's what his title says below. Play us out with something on this Henderson, please. talk about Paul Newman, if you want to talk about music, get in touch. We're down. We're into it. Please keep watching and subscribing. Thanks so much. We really appreciate you. And you're welcome for not playing for you today. See how much more fun it is when we get real, real musicians? Thumbs up, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Jonathan. We'll do the exact same thing. Let's do that.